I've been a meatball most of my life, but now I am a reduced fat meatball for life. I've lost 65 pounds, I'm no longer big as a big bastard no mo! Oh! So how did I do it? What's up everybody? It's Grim, and today I'm gonna tell you how I lost 65 pounds. That's right, your favorite fat fiend, me, is now a fit fiend? Well, not yet. I still got some ways to go, but let me tell you, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And I wanna inspire DF Nation. I wanna inspire people who maybe don't even know me. Hi, I'm Grim, I'm a YouTuber. I am still getting out of breath, however, from bouncing three times on a trampoline, and I don't wanna do that no more. So I'm gonna tell you guys today how I'm doing it, what I'm doing to lose weight, what's working, and what's not. So hopefully, I could help you become a reduced fat meatball. <laughs> or maybe maybe you just need to lose a few pounds. I don't know, I wanna help you. I'm the Grimster and I wanna put out positivity out there. Because when you put out good to people, good comes back to you. And I need some good to come back to me, damn it. The hardest part about losing weight is the food. Because if you're like me, you love food. And I wanna eat. Don't you wanna eat? Because I wanna eat. What are we allowed to eat? I don't even know. That was always my problem. And then I was always extra hungry. And that's why I became fake. What am I supposed to feast on? I found something that is so cool. And I can't wait to tell you about it. Because it's yummy and you lose weight. Holy balls, it's possible? I thought I had to eat cardboard food. So it might be a little bit expensive, but if you can get these food prep meals already made for you. First of all, it saves time. Second of all, it just tells you what to eat because I never know what to put in my mouth hole. But if it's already made for me. Steak, egg, and cheese, 400 calories, 35 grams of protein, and I can eat this, be full, and only have 400 calories. And then for dinner, they make turkey bolognese with pasta, wheat pasta, turkey meat sauce. Like now, Shut up, I'm making a video. I'm afraid he's chirping at me. <laughs> but food is always the hardest part for me. I have these little meals. Now, first of all, getting used to eating that much was hard, I'm not gonna lie. Because I would eat like four sizes. But, but portion, bro, that's why I got, because my portions were completely out of control. Slim down the portions. Eat just enough. Live to eat, don't eat to live. You know, they always say that stupid garbage. But now, what you could do is eat that meal and then you have to be full for at least four hours. And then four hours later, have another one. Four hours later, have another one. I order them and then I get them and then I put them in the fridge like this. And then when I get hungry, I come over to the fridge and go, ooh, what am I gonna have? Oh, look at this. Wheat chocolate chip pancakes. Bam, bitch. Look, and it's only got 229 calories. It's fantastic. And then I'm full. What's this other one? Ooh, chicken and steak combo. It's got steak, it's got chicken, it's a combo. Breakfast burrito! I had ketchup all over my face in a tax slugs videos because I ate a breakfast burrito right before we filmed and then I had ketchup all over my face for the whole freaking video. Look at this, Chinese food. We got noodles, chicken, broccoli, soy sauce. It's amazing, it's 400 calories. These are good meals. And this is how I'm losing weight. And if you get hungry, grapos, blueberries, or tree glizzies. You guys like bananas? You like bananas in your mouth? But the real hardest part, besides like, okay, I can eat a healthy meal that tastes good. No, it's when you wanna eat the junk. And where is the junk? The junk is hidden down under here, behind the couch, the little Debbies. Oh my God. There's zebra cakes. There's zebra cakes back there. <gasps> zebra cakes are my weakness. I love the zebra cake and Christmas tree cakes and Reese's puffs and fruity pebbles and the most fantastic, sugariest, delicious things. So this is what I do. This is what works for me. I know it's here. I know it's in the house and I know nobody's going to eat it because shh, don't tell Tina and it's back here. I trust you guys to not say anything. 
But anyway, I have lots of yummy snackos back here, and I don't want anybody eating them. I know they're going to be safe. They're hidden back here. And if, God forbid, I go into some sort of panic and I need an emergency snack, it's here. But the thing is, it's not sitting in the kitchen. It's not right in the cabinet that when I'm just walking around kind of hungry, I'm like, ooh, there's a zebra cake. No. Out of sight, out of mind. Like, I know they're there, but I'm not going to go sitting here stuffing my face like this. Look, look. I can barely reach the goddamn stuff. You know, I make it difficult for myself. And then that way, I'll stay my fat kid self out of it. It works. And then it's like, if it's like, it's okay, man, it's been like two weeks and I haven't had anything sweet. Like, oh my God, just give me a goddamn zebra cake. And then I eat it. Yeah! One of the other things everybody struggles with is physical fatness or physical fitness because who wants to go to the goddamn gym, right? But no, you should want to go to the gym. And trust me, it gets addicting. At first, it sucks. It's like, oh, physical activity. I can't do this. I'm too fat for this. And that's exactly why you need to do it. And that's exactly what I said. I said, oh my God, look, my wrestling is starting to slow down. I'm starting to look old and fat and slow. And no, no, not old and fat and slow. Fat. Fat, 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 fat. So I had to be not fat, 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 fat. So what do I do? Come to the gym. What do you do with the gym? Grim. Well, I spend an hour, a half hour cardio, running on the elliptical or a treadmill. Like, okay, so what? That's easy. You're just walking or running. Do it. It's not hard. And then lift. Just use some machines. It's not hard. Do it for a fucking hour every other day. And you lose weight. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. It's easy for you, Graham, but not for me. I don't know how to work out. If I go to the gym, people are gonna make fun of me. And that's one of the biggest struggles. A lot of people don't want to go to the gym because they're worried they're gonna be judged by everybody else. Well, I'm fat. And everybody else in the gym is a big muscle guy, and they're going to make fun of me. They don't care. Actually, a lot of people, like, they'll respect you that you're at the gym. They'll say, well, hey, look, he's chubby, but he's at the gym, and he's trying something. They will respect the fact that you're not at home laying on the couch. And, and if you really don't know what the fuck you're doing, they might want to help you out. And they'll be nice about it. Like, you're not going to get judged. If anything, they're going to be happy for you that you think enough of yourself to go to the gym and put in some effort to try to better yourself and try to lose some weight. And you say, well, I don't know what to do at the gym. I don't have a program, a routine or whatever. You can do anything. Just move. You just gotta burn the calories, run on a machine, lift some weights as much as you can lift. You know, you're not bodybuilding. You're not in a competition. We ain't training for the goddamn Olympics. We're just trying to get rid of some fucking flab. And how do you get rid of flab? Eat healthy, move around. Burn calories, that's all we gotta do. It's a new day, yes it is, because we are at breakfast time, and it's oh my gosh, back at it again. Now, anybody can be on a diet for one day, anybody can behave themselves, even for a few days. Not eat junk, go to the gym, eat healthy, but as time wears on, it gets harder, and harder, and harder. Dude, you have to cheat sometimes. Sometimes that's why the snack goes are behind the couch. Because every once in a while, man, you got to give in. Because you got to be disciplined. And you got to say, okay, Friday, I'm going to have myself a snacko. And then you earn that. You say, well, I got to be good. And if I don't be good, then there's a snacko on Friday. And then breakfast. Remember I was showing you the prep meals earlier. Here's my prep meal. Steak and eggs. Look at this. This is fucking delicious. 400 calories. It's like a big healthy prepared but it's still tasty so now listen not all these uh meal prep places make the tastiest food some of them taste like dog poop some of them taste like cardboard some of them eating this tray would be tastier but this place that i found mm -mm -mm. and we're gonna eat it yeah oh. who knew eating healthy could be so tasty not me Look at us. So remember I said, let's go to the gym every every other day, right? But you can work out from home too. And sometimes you just need to burn some calories. You don't need to do a full on lifting, workout, whatever. Sometimes running on this, burning calories, that helps. And guess what? It gets addicting. 
I start to feel sluggish and run down and think I need a nap. No, I actually need a workout. You'd be surprised. And it sucks that it took me this long in my life to figure this out. That's why I'm giving you the information. So now you guys know, wait a minute. If I feel sluggish, run down, I should work out instead of take a nap? Yes, that's the answer. That's how it's done. So I'm gonna get on my ass on this thing. We're gonna run. So, guys, we can do this. Degeneration fat can become degeneration fit. I know I still got a while to go. I'm about halfway to my goal. I wanna slim down, bulk up, and beat some ass. I'm building a better beast and you can too. And if you're not down with that, we got five words for you. Put down the fork, yeah! Let's go! Guys, let me know in the comments below any of your weight loss tips.